welcome back guys to my YouTube channel and now unfortunately yes I know I said I'm not playing destiny anymore and I said that was gonna be my last video when I got that uh, vault of glass no HUD grayscale challenge but unfortunately I don't see that happening anytime soon because I can't find anyone but let's get straight into this video and what we want to talk about I'm gonna bring you be bringing you guys a handful of facts and things that I have officially confirmed about the beta and destiny 2 now, there are some things in these facts that I'm going to mention that are exclusively in beta and I don't know if it's going to be part of the game, but the rest of these, if I don't mention that, they are guaranteed part of the game until another update drops or DLC drops that fixes something or adds something. So let's get straight into this, shall we? What we're going to do is be is we're going to name a lot of the PvE stuff right now because I haven't played the PvP, I won't touch PvP. For certain vid reasons, I'll do in another, another video. But let me name some things about the PVE stuff right now. Since there is only one strike and one area you can explore, but at the same time, what you're seeing right now is that area that you can explore. Not much to explore there except for going forward into the strike and working your way to the boss fight of the strike. And boy, is this boss fight a biatch. Now, one of the facts about the PVE area is there's a bigger variety of enemy species and how a bigger variety of how they look. Like basically back when in Destiny 1 there were Cabals like the Centurions, the regular Cabals, the majority of the Cabals all look the same. There really was no variety to them, there was no difference or anything. But now in the beta there is a huge variety of Cabal species and whatnot. There's little cabal dogs that run around with spikes on their back. You may not see it in this video. I don't know if you will or not, but there's there's like little dogs, cabal, cabal dogs with spikes on their back. There's uh, minotaur looking cabals. There's actual real centurion looking cabals. There's a whole variety of cabals now and how they look and what each one looks like, which is a big step up from what they did in Destiny 1. Now, there... It's also a big variety of Fallen as well. I, I ran into some Fallen, you'll see it in this video. And there's a big variety of Vex now. It's the same thing with the Fallen, the Vex, and the Cabal. There's a big, huge variety of them now and a variety of how they look. Um, another thing, you know how when certain like species of Cabals, Vex, and whatnot had shields and whatnot? In Destiny 1, there was like aura, like a gassy aura around them. Now there's actual real shields that you gotta take out, like around them. Like it encircles them, like the Templar on the Vault of Glass. It encircles their body and covers the top of their body so you can't shoot over it or inside of it. So that's a big upside, a big step up, and a big great addition to what they did to fix the game. Um, another thing is there's no more artifacts in this game, like for your character, like artifacts that would take away your super or whatnot. There is no artifacts, no artifact slots for you to put artifacts in at all anymore. That has been completely taken out of the game. No more artifacts whatsoever. At the moment right now, until we get a DLC drop or whatnot, we, there is only two super classes at the moment for each character. Hunter has Arc and Solar. Titan has a Void and Arc, and Warlock has Solar and Void. Now, each class has different abilities, I'll get onto that in a second, just want to let you guys know that. Hopefully a third class will be added later on with a DLC. Unfortunately, I don't know if that's going to happen because I don't see an extra third slot class. Well, for a class, at the moment, like you did in Destiny 1 when you first played the game. There was an extra slot right there that was empty. There is none of that, it's only the two classes. Um, as for the um, beta, I you are not allowed to create a character like do a customization in the beta, so I don't know if it's going to be in the actual game or not. There may be a customization in the game, there may not be a customization in the game, we don't know yet. Now let's get on to the classes. We're going to start out with the Hunter because I like the Hunter a lot. Um, the Golden Gun class. Uh, it can now shoot six shots and it fires really, really quick. Like, it shoots hella quick. Like, you saw how Cade 6 in my previous video was like, hold on, give me a second. Bang, bang, bang! It shot that fast. It can shoot that fast. If you have the trigger finger, you can shoot it. Like, it is amazing. Um, as for the Golden Gun again, Shade Step is now part of the Golden Gun. 
As I said, a hunter does not have a void class right now. Shade Step is now part of Golden Gun. Um, the Twilight Garrison is part of the um, arc class for the um, hunter. Basically, the Twilight Garrison jump dodge thing. That's what it is for the hunter on the arc um, blade class. Um, after dodging with your stat, after dodging with your staff on the arc blade class, which is your super. It creates an aftershock area effect wherever you slam. So if you dodge and then slam, it creates an aftershock effect and an area of effect uh, area for um, your hunter. Um, another thing is we got a little Modern Warfare 2 Commando Pro type shit going on right now for um, the hunter. If you dodge with your arc staff, it increases your melee range. So if you have your super out with your with your arc staff and you dodge with it, it increases your range of melee, which is completely insane, but I haven't tested it in PvE. You guys can if you want. Um, that's pretty much it for the hunter that I'm going to name off right now. I'm not going to go into too much detail. I'll let you, I don't want to ruin too much of the game for you. Um, let's go on to the Warlock now. The Warlock Solar subclass has no self-res. There is no more self-res in this game. Thank fucking God they got rid of that. That was annoying. Oh, God, I hated that. Uh, Solar subclass now has a blade. Like, imagine you're, imagine you're an Archangel from Heaven. You now have a solar blade, like an actual solar sword. Like, not like the shitty solar sword that was on Destiny 1. Not the shitty exotic solar sword. I mean, like, this thing is made of fucking fire. Like, it is amazing. You can, like, not really throw it, but you can throw the blade and still have the handle and whatnot, and the blade still in the thing, but you can throw, like, a solar blade out of your sword at enemies, or you can just use it to swing around. It is amazing. It's so freaking cool. You guys gotta test this out when this game com comes out to play. Now, the subclasses for, um, the Warlock... They now have a healing slash empowering rift, like you'll throw down a rift on the ground and if you're in the rift, you have a constant healing while in it. So it's basically almost like god mode, you can still be killed in it, but the healing on it is insane. Like you'll get hit and by the time the damage, you've already been hit and the damage went away, you immediately start healing again in the rift. As for the um, empowering rift, that's weapons of light in the rift. So. You now have the Titan Bubble ability on the Warlock with a Rift on the ground. So as long as you're in the Rift, you have those abilities. You step out of the Rift, they're gone. Um, for the Solar class as well, you have a Combat While Gliding. If you upgrade this uh, subclass you, while you're gliding, you can shoot around, throw grenades, and dodge and all that cool shit. You can Combat While Gliding. Um... Now, as for the Warlock, again, I know how everybody loved this, and I fucking hated it. Oh god, how I hated it. You now must get a kill to heal back yourself. No overshield, no shield regeneration. You must get a kill to regenerate some health back for the Warlock. Like, you know how the Warlock used to have, like, you know, a touch them, you're overshield and healed? Yeah, no, that's gone. You have to kill them with your melee um, ability in order to get health back. As for your grenade shit, you can like consume a grenade and heal back some of your health. So that's a thing with the Warlock too. Um, let's move on to the Titan. Titans have no dodge. Like the dodge is gone. Like there is no dodge. As for, well, let me go back to the Warlock real quick. There is no dodge for the war Warlock either. None that I've tested at all. So if there is a dodge, I'm sorry. There might be a dodge. I haven't tested it yet. Every time I try to dodge, I throw down a fucking rift. So as for the Titan, let's get right into that. The Titan has no dodge at all. I've tested this. There is no freaking dodge for the Titan. What happens when you try to dodge is you throw down this like wall of like shield. It's, you can choose between a big shield or a small shield, short shield, and you throw these. You can throw these down, and it basically deflects and prevents any projectiles or damage coming at you. Unless you're on the edges of them, then the splash damage goes outwards from the shield. So you guys know how that's gonna work. Now, 
it lasts for 15 seconds and it's on both subclasses so the titan does not have any dodge bubble is now somewhat weird now because you can choose between having a shield in your hand and or a well not and but you can choose between a shield in your hand and a bubble around you and the bubble basically benefits you wep um, armor of light but I haven't seen any way to give yourself weapons so I think the bubble is only armor of light if you're in it if you step out of it you don't have it so only if you're in it you get armor of light um, with the shield that you have when you pop your bubble if you tap your um, super buttons you get the shield if you hold the super buttons you get the bubble so the shield you can bash around like the relic on the uh, vault of glass um, when critically wounding or breaking shields you can increase your melee range if you upgrade in a titan class fist of havoc is apparently like the juggernaut from x-man it lasts for a period of time i don't know if it's short or long i haven't tested it yet but fist of havoc lasts for a sh for a period of time and you can increase the amount of time it lasts for when you upgrade so you can literally go around and go like slam 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 like hulk you can go hulk mode um as for your as for everything else i don't want to go into anything else i just don't want to give away too much detail about this i want to keep this video as short as possible for you guys so you're not watching like a 30 minute video if you guys have enjoyed this video don't forget to leave this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already i don't know if i'm getting destiny yet i may get it i don't know if i can find a clan to roll with that will be doing pve i'll buy the game but if i can't find a clan to roll with i'll probably just like forfeit the game and save up for a different thing and possibly getting a car sometime this fall so i'll see you guys in my next video i'm sorry i haven't been uploading lately but my job has me working from like literally sometimes 9 a.m or 10 a.m to 9 30 p.m so i don't get home until like 10 or 10 30 so i got see, that's enough rambling on i'll see you guys later as always stay in school don't do drugs peace out